The global aviation market is undergoing a significant transformation and the Russia MC-21 aircraft is a part of this process. This aircraft is Moscow's chosen instrument to challenge the long-standing dominance of Western manufacturers. But why? Is Russia so confident about the MC-21? Why was this aircraft built and how will it compete with its Western rivals? Let's dive in in the past. The Russian aviation industry was largely dependent on Western suppliers for aircraft and components even. For aircraft that Russia itself produced, however, Western sanctions in 2022 caused serious economic difficulties for this country. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This event forced the country to seek greater self-sufficiency in many areas, including aviation. That's it. They created the aircraft by themselves. In fact, this country had already begun efforts to develop its own commercial aircraft for many years before the sanctions took effect. In 2007, the HHLV Design Bureau, a unit of the state-owned Russian Rosk Aviation Group, launched a project to develop a narrow-body aircraft to replace the outdated Tupiv aircraft. This project was initially called the Yak. 242, but after receiving domestic certification in 2016, it was renamed the Yakovlev MS-21 and became known as the MC-21 on the international market. However, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine created obstacles in accessing Western suppliers, leading to two delays in the aircraft's introduction. Nevertheless, this country remains committed to the goal of self-reliance. In the aviation sector, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced plans to produce at least one zero Russian-made aircraft by 2030 to date more than $10 billion has been invested in the MC-21 program, but the number of completed aircraft remains limited. Even so, this aircraft has received a significant number of orders, more than 300 mainly from this country's airlines, so are these aircraft truly good? To find out, let's take a look at their technical specifications. The MC-21 aircraft comes in two versions, the smaller MC-21200, which can carry between 132 and 165 passengers depending on the configuration and the larger MC-21300, which can accommodate between 163 and 211 passengers. The 200 variant has a range of approximately 3 5 500 nautical miles positioning it to compete with the Airbus A319 Neo and Boeing 737 MAX. 7 Meanwhile, the 300 variant offers a range of about 3,200 nautical miles aiming to rival the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 MAX 9 in the mid-market segment. Notably, the MC-21300 was unveiled on June 8, 2016, in Siberia, marking a milestone as one of the first aircraft to utilize Ito of Autoclave, composite manufacturing technology for its wings. In addition, the MC-21 distinguishes itself with an advanced wing design a key improvement for competing with today's Airbus and Boeing models. These wings were upgraded in 2021 with Russian-made polymer composite materials utilizing a patented vacuum infusion technology. This initiative, backed by a 4 billion Ruble, approximately 45 US million, investment now means composites make up 40% of the MCX-21's airframe, resulting in a strong yet lightweight structure, besides, while initially powered by Pratt and Whitney GTF-1. 1,400 grams engines Western sanctions, restricting access to these engines, forced Rosk, a Russian state corporation, to develop domestic alternatives. The chosen replacement is the PD-1 for turbofan engine produced by Avet Fiegel which was first approved on January 20, 2020, many industry experts consider the MC-21 a formidable competitor, potentially even surpassing the Boeing 737 MAX. So what contributes to these positive assessments? But first, thanks for being part of the community we're working towards 40, zero subscribers, and your subscription would be a huge help. Just smash that subscribe button. It only takes a second, and it means the world to us. Thanks a ton for your support. One important factor is cost. The MC-21300 has a list price of around 911 US million, significantly lower than the nearly 130 US million price tag of the MAX. Nine furthermore, according to Rost's CEO, Russian airlines can purchase the aircraft for an even more attractive price of about 37 million. This represents a substantial competitive advantage, especially as airlines strive to optimize operating costs Another area where this Russian aircraft shines is cabin design. 
It boasts a more spacious cabin compared to the 737 MAX 9, offering greater comfort for passengers. While not a decisive factor, a more comfortable cabin can enhance the passenger experience and influence the choices of some. Airlines regarding seating capacity, the MAX 9 has an advantage, accommodating up to 220 passengers compared to the MC-21s. Maximum of 211, however, both aircraft have similar ranges, approximately 300 nautical miles under ideal conditions, the MAX 9 can extend its range slightly further up to 3,550 nautical miles, although most of the grounded Boeing aircraft have returned to service the MAX's continued incidents, have raised some doubts. About the model's future, the uncertain environment surrounding the 737 MAX could create an opportunity for the MC-21, while Western Airlines may be hesitant to incorporate it into their fleets. The aircraft could serve as a viable option for other airlines and markets looking to expand their narrow body fleets these advantages suggest that despite the barriers, Russian aircraft has the potential to carve out a prominent position in certain segments of the global aircraft market. In conclusion, this Russian aircraft is outstanding with some features. However, the decision between the two aircraft will ultimately depend on the specific needs and business. Strategies of individual airlines, how about you? What do you think which aircraft is? Greater comment 1 if you think it's MC-212, if Max not denying the remarkable prominence of Russian aircraft, but there are significant obstacles it must overcome if it wants to develop further. First, one of the most pressing issues is the availability. Of aircraft components and parts, Russian airlines are struggling to maintain the safe operation of their existing fleets due to Western sanctions accessing replacement parts for foreign-made aircraft has become extremely difficult. Many airlines have been forced to cannibalize inactive aircraft for parts to keep their operational planes. Flying this has led to a series of safety incidents and this situation could persist as long as the sanctions remain in place. Despite this, Russia is attempting to find workarounds by importing components through unofficial channels. There are reports that they have imported some counterfeit parts or through intermediary countries such as Turkey, the UAE and Tajikistan nations that have not. Joined the Western sanctions, however, these are only temporary fixes as reporting proponents. Illegally is both expensive and does not guarantee quality and cannot completely resolve the problem of component shortages. Second, another significant hurdle for the MC-21300 is the issue of certification. Even with the 737 MAX's issues, Western Airlines might be hesitant to adopt the MC-21. This can be the reason this aircraft was denied. European certification on March 14, 2022, and there are currently no indications that this decision will be reversed anytime soon, especially given the ongoing Russian military presence in Ukraine. This lack of international certification significantly restricts the aircraft's ability to operate in the global market further complicating the efforts to achieve self-sufficiency in the aviation industry. If this country can overcome these significant challenges in the aircraft production, it could prove to be a strong competitor in the global aviation market, do you think the Russian aircraft will eventually achieve? International certification, what political or technical factors do you see as most influential in that decision? Finally, the MC-21 with a range of approximately three, 300 nautical miles is well suited for intra-European and regional flights across Russia. However, its international reach may be limited to neighboring countries. Without a longer range variant, the speculated the 400 variant, capable of carrying around 260 passengers and offering a range of nearly 5, 500, 100 nautical miles could enable transcontinental flights, significantly expanding the aircraft's market. Potential such improvements would enhance the appeal of the MC-21 series, globally positioning it for more direct competition with long range. Aircraft from other major manufacturers, one more important thing, the impact of this aircraft cannot be underrated. The development of the MC-21 has had several significant effects on Russia. Firstly, it has strengthened Russia's self-sufficiency and reduced its dependence on Western aviation technology. Previously, they relied heavily on Western companies for aircraft components and technology. With this aircraft, they can be more proactive in designing and manufacturing aircraft promoting the growth of its domestic aviation industry and mitigating risks associated with sanctions next its development has stimulated. 
domestic research and development in aviation technology, including the use of advanced composite materials for aircraft, wings this not only enhances Russia's technological capabilities, but also creates new opportunities for the domestic aviation industry and local part suppliers. In conclusion, the MC-21 helps Russia enter the global commercial aircraft market, creating opportunities to compete with major manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus. This not only expands their economic and political influence internationally, but also provides opportunities for international airlines to operate this country's aircraft. Finally, the development demonstrates Russia's ability to overcome challenges posed by sanctions, showcasing its resilience and adaptability in maintaining and advancing its aviation industry. The MC-21 is seen as a promising aircraft with significant opportunities. I the skies are changing. For over half a century, the global aviation industry has been ruled by two titans, Boeing and Airbus. They've built empires across the clouds, dominating every route, every airport, and every airline fleet. But now, a new player is rising, not from Europe, not from America, but from Russia. It's called the MC-21, and it represents something far bigger than just a new airplane. It's a declaration, a bold message, that Russia is ready to rewrite the rules of aviation. But how did this aircraft come to be? What makes it so special? And can it really challenge the West's most powerful aerospace giants? Let's find out. Asterisk for decades, the global skies have been a two-player game. If you flew commercial, you were either in a Boeing or an Airbus. These companies didn't just build planes, they built systems of power, control over supply chains, technology, certification, and even the standards that define modern aviation. Countries like Russia, China, and Brazil tried to enter the game before, but none truly succeeded on a global scale. The barriers were simply too high, and for Russia, this dependency ran deep. Even aircraft assembled domestically were loaded with Western components, avionics from Europe, engines from the US, materials from abroad. It was a delicate balance. Until 2022, when that balance shattered dot asterisk, when Western sanctions hit Russia after the Ukraine conflict, the aviation sector took one of the hardest blows. Hundreds of aircraft were grounded overnight. Access to spare parts was cut off. Engines, sensors, and materials suddenly became untouchable. Airlines were forced to cannibalize parked planes, taking parts from grounded jets just to keep others flying. It was chaos. But in that chaos, something else happened. A shift. Instead of collapsing, Russia turned inward. It began to push for complete self-reliance, to design, produce, and operate aircraft without depending on the West. And that's where the MC-21 comes in. The idea wasn't born overnight. Back in 2007, long before the sanctions, Russia's Yakovlov Design Bureau, part of the United Aircraft Corporation, launched a quiet but ambitious project. It started as the Yak-Do-42, envisioned as the successor to aging Soviet jets, like the Tupolev Tu-154. But over time, the vision expanded. This wouldn't just be another domestic airliner, it would be a 21st century aircraft, capable of standing shoulder to shoulder with the best in the world. That's how the MC-21 was born, a name that literally means mainline aircraft of the 21st century. Its mission, simple but bold, to compete directly with the Airbus A320, NEO and Boeing 737 MAX, the two most successful aircraft families in modern history, building a jet that could Rival of the world's best was no small feat. The MC-21 had to prove itself on every front performance, efficiency, comfort, and cost. And in 2016, Russia took a huge step forward. The MC-21 was officially unveiled to the world in Irkutsk, Siberia, sleek, modern, and surprisingly advanced. But here's what truly set it apart. It became one of the first airliners ever to use Autovataklev composite wings, most aircraft wings are baked in massive, expensive autoclaves, but the MiG-21 used a new vacuum infusion process, making them cheaper and easier to produce. And not just that, by 2021, these wings were built entirely with Russian-made composite materials. Around 40% of the airframe is now composite lighter, stronger, and more efficient. That's a direct hit at Boeing and Airbus, who still rely heavily on imported materials and autoclave technology. Originally, the MC-21 was supposed to be powered by Pratt & Whitney, GTF engines, 
the same cutting-edge engines used on Airbus's A320neo, but when sanctions hit, that plan collapsed, so Russia turned to its own technology and created the PD-14. Built by a Vigai, it became the first new Russian turbofan engine in over three decades, and a major leap forward for domestic aerospace. The PD-14 is efficient, quiet, and designed to meet modern emission standards. According to some early tests, it's competitive, and in some cases, even more durable than Western counterparts. It's not just an engine, it's independence in motion. In aviation, cost is everything. And this is where the MC-21 lands a powerful punch. The MC-21-300, to its main version, has a list price of about $91 million. Compare that to $130 million for Boeing's 737 MAX-9. But for Russian airlines, the government offers an even lower price, around $37 million. That's nearly one-third of Boeing's price tag. For airlines struggling with costs, fuel prices, and maintenance, that difference is massive. And yet, it's not just cheaper, it's also more comfortable. The MC-21's cabin is 11 centimeters wider than a 737 MAX, giving passengers more shoulder room and airlines more flexible seating options. It's subtle, but it matters. For Russia, the MC-21 is more than an aircraft. It's proof of resilience. It has forced the country to innovate in materials, engines, and manufacturing. It's fueling research, creating jobs, and reviving industries that had been stagnant for years by building this aircraft. Russia is proving that, even under isolation, it can create something that competes with the best. It's not just a jet, it's a symbol of technological defiance. Russia's flagship airline Aeroflot has gone all in. In 2022, it placed a massive order, 210 MC-21s, alongside other domestic models like the Sukhoi Superjet. The deal, worth roughly $1 billion, aims to make the MC-21 the flagship of Aeroflot's fleet by 2030. Deliveries are expected to begin by late 2024. And while Russian aircraft are banned from most Western airspace, they can still operate across Asia, Africa, South America and the Middle East, a massive portion of the global market. That's where the MC-21 might quietly build its success story. Can the MC-21 truly challenge Boeing and Airbus? The odds are steep, the politics are complicated, and the world's aviation market isn't easy to break into. But one thing's certain, the MiG-21 is real. It flies, it performs, and it has already proven something powerful that innovation doesn't stop at borders. It's the story of a nation that refused to stay grounded. Can Russia's MC-21 rewrite aviation history? Comment 1 if you believe it has the potential to rival Boeing and Airbus. Comment 2 if you think the Western giants will keep their throne. And if you love stories like this about the technology, the drama, and the power behind the world's most ambitious aircraft, hit subscribe and join our aviation community. We're flying toward 40,000 subscribers and your support helps this channel reach new heights. Until next time, stay curious, fly safe, and keep your eyes on the skies.